Alright, this isn't exactly the intro to the series that I wanted. I actually recorded a proper intro right after, or that will be coming up in the video right after this, but I wanted to include this beforehand. Um, I, looking, on looking back through the recordings, I realized that it was pretty hard to hear my voice over the in-game sound during the first uh, batch of recording that I did. I think I've got that fixed now, but um, just a heads up, it's going to be pretty hard to hear me for a little bit of this video. Um, to to solve that problem, I am going to be recording a separate video on the rules of the chunk account. That will be linked down in the description. It may or may not be coming out at the same time as this episode here. If it's not, it'll be up before episode 2. So uh, thanks for everyone's understanding, I'll see you in the actual series. Hello, and welcome to Chunk Man Jam, my old school runescape region lock chunk account. So, right off the start, I need to explain to you guys what a chunk account is if you've never heard of one. Well, it's based off the, uh, the in-game world. It's split up into chunks. You see them here on the map with these big square things. Um, all over the place. So, a chunk account. What do you do? You start in a chunk. I decided to start here to uh, make myself a little different than the other uh, accounts that are doing this, which um, I will be linking down in the description if they've been my uh, heavy inspiration for this series. They've always started in Lumber, which is where you spawn this game lawfully. So, I spawned in the game there too, did Tutorial Island, dropped all my stuff, ran up here to my starting area. So, in the chunk, what do you have to do? Um, you have to complete it, really. So, what uh, does that entail? That entails going and finding everything to do in this little box here and doing it poorly. So, that means gathering the resources. So, in this one, I see we have some few trees up there. I don't know if I have an axe, so I don't know if I'll actually have to do that one specifically in this chunk, but we'll see. But anyway, I would have to cut them and then be able to process them at at least their lowest level, which for a log would be in this game lighting on fire. And you also have to kill up the all killable and seeds in the box to complete it. I uh, quest as well. And um, I think that's actually probably it. So I'll be getting into the rules a bit more while I'm doing the thing. But for now, that really sloppy explanation should be enough. So, what makes this account different than the um, other people that have done this? Well, if you look down here, you'll see that little red helmet. That means I'm a hardcore Iron Man, and if I die, that red helmet goes away. So, it's been tradition in these chunk accounts to do to start as a hardcore Iron Man, but everyone that's done it so far, at least on YouTube, had lost it. My goal is to not lose it, and if I do, in fact, that means the series is over. And um, another little tweak I'm making is. Um, I'm going to be splitting the world map up into regions. So, like, the Remington region here, Port Serum, Draenor, Falador, stuff like that. And when I go unlocking chunks, so let's say after I complete this one, I roll this one, that means I have to do all the Remington chunks, which is this, 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 and uh, probably I'll include this one, maybe. Um, it's kind of played by ear what I decide the regions are, but I have to complete the whole region before I am allowed to try and unlock a new chunk in a different region. So it's still going to be going chunk by chunk in there, but uh, hopefully you get the point. So anyway, um, let's get started here. Let's walk around this chunk and see what I have to do. So right off the bat, I see some chickens here, so I'm going to have to kill one. And cows as well. And let's see what else. Is there anything of note in this house? There's a loom, but I don't know if I can do anything with that. We'll see. Um, here as well. Oh, let's see. Dog, more chickens. Oh, a duck. I might need a ranged attack option to kill that, so I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to, but I'm going to try. It's back here. With a rat. Kill that too. And um, just so you know, I have a blue light plugin on that will show the chunk boundary. We'll actually try and walk up to it right now to uh, show that to you 
guys. Oh, and another thing with this account is in free to play. So, like this is a farming patch. If I look at numbers, I'd probably have to do something with it, but I'm not, so I don't. Okay, there is the Trump Founder. It's a green line. So, I can't go over here. I can go over there. This actually looks like a pretty easy one to start off with. I'm not gonna lie, I did that on purpose even though I didn't look to the chunk before. <coughs> I kind of assumed this one was gonna be a bit easier. I didn't want to start in Lumbridge 1 to make myself a little different and to so I didn't have to go fix the wood cutting right away. That kind of like slog, to be honest. <coughs> Well, I'll have to do it at some point, because uh, being able to cut yew trees there is a requirement that at some point... Oh, we got him. I'll actually uh, take him out right away. Oh. Looks like that guy got him. So that's alright. We'll find one later. Uh, there's a highway, man. I might be able to actually lure him over into my truck. If I can get his cape, but um, he's level 5. I want to cut my board before I get him. And um, I saw a quest icon on the map over here somewhere. Yep, that guy. So I'll have to start that quest as well. But, um, let's see. Well. The goal is in this chunk just to here to be killing things and starting that quest unless I can find a wood cutting axe. Which I really don't want to, so I don't have to uh, cut the new trees down, but uh, if I do find one that's what I'll be doing. So we just walked the whole chunk. Um, yeah, that appears to be all. I'm going to go back into the house and see if I can find a wood cutting axe. If not, I'm going to get to killing things. So I'll see you guys in a moment when either of those two things happen. Alright, I've uh, gone and looked around, couldn't find an axe, couldn't find um, anything to do with the loom either, so I'm just going to get to uh, taking out all the seeds I need to. So we'll start with the chicken here. And, uh, oh. Very modest to kick it uh, in the uh, start of this farm. So, there doesn't appear to be a farmer around. So, I, I doubt they'll mind. I doubt they'll mind if they're computers anyway, but you know, I might as well play a little, I guess. They take a cow now. And actually, I'll have to be. I'll have to uh, cook the uh, the drops here. That is something I didn't think about, but um, that is something I'll have to be doing. So, uh, at some point I'll do it. Oh, cow can actually hurt me with my chicken. Might have a real fight on our hands here, boys. So we'll have to train up to uh, kill the cow. Do well, again, that's what I'll be doing. Another thing I've noticed is, uh, that was a way to check that thing out, on the, uh, using my range lock thing, if I don't unlock a bank, so a bank is in a train or a power here, if I don't unlock either of those, then the next region I'm going to be playing as an ultimate Iron Man as well for a little bit. And for those that don't know, or killing a cow. For those that don't know, an ultimate Iron Man is just kind of the same thing I'm doing, but not allowed to use the thing. And there's cooking level 2, the first level on the account. So, that had to be done because the cow was winning that fight. So I'm going to go train up on the chicken a little bit. I'll be back in a moment for us to go continue the mission with the cow. Alright, um, breaking in here for a second, because I think beyond this chicken we are going to get two strength. That is more than one, as I'm sure you can all imagine, there it is, there's that two strength. So, level it up and uh, see about that cow here in a minute. Alright, coming in here is going to be three strength. There it is. Alright, so I just did one inventory of chickens, as you can see here, the bones and raw chicken. I'm going to bury all the bones, see what fur level I can get, then cook all the chicken, and we're going to try and get the cow again. And I also found this buck. I don't know if I'll be able to do anything with it, but it's fucking. So let's get to bearing the bones. And 
see where we get to. And um, while I'm doing this, I'll mention that for the time being, my private is set to on, and there's an username down there in the bottom left hand corner if you uh, like the series or want to talk to me for some reason. Log into the game and feel free to send me a private message. Both to uh, talk to anyone who finds me uh, entertaining. So there we go, buried all the bones, got up, and of course, the way to the prayer. Nothing else to note there, but um, let's see, took all the chickens. Not a great start, but I'm going to do this. Free cooking. Yeah, um, I really don't know how anything about this YouTube stuff works, so I'm messing anything up. I want to know so I can fix it. And uh, yeah. that's about it on that front, so it looks like we will actually win this uh, spike. There we go. And we got some cowhide steak, the earth's beef, so I have to cook that. And the other thing is we got cow calves. I'm not sure if I should. Got a different name, so I'm just going to. Let's go take them out. Maybe that'll be a tad easier. So, um, when we're done, I have to go cook the beef, so that's something I've got. See if I find them, and I'll kill them. On the way in here, I have one that needs to cook these things out of the wood. Burnt most of them. So I'm going to set a rule that says I need to successfully process the stuff I get. That isn't successful, so I'll be telling some more cows. I'm not going to do that right now, but so meet you again back at something else. I hope the highway man hits walk into the trunk so let's uh, dig and take them out. This will get me my first item if I am successful, but it's going to be this cake right here on the back. But yeah, this is going to be the highest level we've killed so far. It's level 5. It's all the slugger that we just had for level 2, so um, my hopes are not high for this work. But um, let's see. There's another highway man over there. Let's see how far. Honestly, getting muffled on him. There's this other one over there. I don't need to kill that one. So. Yeah. Hopefully, I'm going to be killing this one. Can 
I can't believe this is actually better than the cow. Got some real balance in this here room, escape that one. And, um, yeah. I don't really know what to do. Just, uh, just kicking the speed. Sorry, I'm going to the moment. I guess I should be neat. Maybe lose on the, uh, the hardcore status and end the series on episode one. That would, uh, that would be awful embarrassing. And, um, after we're done with him, I see this one over here. We'll see if we can lower him into the trunk. If we can, he'll take him out too. And, uh, we're going to have to have to him just walk in the trunk. So, that means he can be in here. So, we'll just have to do some way around. So, not willing to walk in the trunk, by the way. But, uh, not we. I won't make him sit and wait for me while I, uh, find this new thing. Nothing really. So, I guess to give the highway man some credit, he is going to be my food at the moment. But, we're going to be victorious at the moment. Just one more hit. Yep, yep. Let's see how much HP he has. Just one hit. There he goes. Oh. This other one wants a piece of me, but I'm going to uh, run away from him so I don't need to kill him. So, I'm going to uh, try and get that imp out after you guys have finished. Alright, got an imp in my targets, and I put the cape on from the highway man, so I'm killing this guy in style. So, there's my cape, and there's the imp. I'm actually gonna have to go look up on the wiki if these guys drop in here, because I do think they might have an interesting drop they look. I see if he teleported out of the trunk, so he knows my weakness. We'll have to see if we can get one that doesn't do that. I actually uh, got a good hand to put one of the things in, and he's here probably doesn't run anymore. Alright, so they teleport out. That's fun. Um, I hope we can, uh, can actually manage to get one. But as I was saying, I'll have to look up their drops on. So I they might drop some action as a spin. Um, we'll see. These guys are fun, aren't they? Oh, I actually feel good. But I'm um, seeing the difficulties of killing them um, in the chunk. Oh, just did it. I'm not going to uh, rely on any RNG drops. Like, if they do drop a woodcutting axe, I'm not going to cut the tree down. Oh no. Oh no, that, that is a problem that I didn't notice. That guard. That guard comes in here. Means I'm going to have to go kill a level 22 guard. Uh, that is, uh. It's gonna be fun, but um, yeah, I'll have to go around and find more stuff to kill. Alright, I've uh, walked around the trunk and there appears to be nothing else to kill other than that guard, so I'm going to start this quest here, and um, then I'm going to have to train up the guard. I'm not going to make use of that, but um, I'm also not going to make use of this quest dialogue. And, um, I'll, I'll pop back in for all the, the levels I'm going to have to get to kill the guard. And, yeah, that fight probably. Alright, so the next step of this quest is then the, uh, the docks quest from the I'll pop that up on the map. It's here. As you can see, that's in a locked chunk, and we are at least two new chunks in that. This one, this one, that one. We'll have to be done to get there, so we're a while off from having to do anything more with that quest. I missed it, but there's a quest left. Alright, brief intermission here. We're going to get prayer two, and I have some stuff to talk to you guys. So I looked up the, uh, the imp drop cable on my phone, um, they drop a whole bunch of stuff, but really you can go through it if you want. Um, one of the rules for my series is going to be that I don't have to get any RNG drops, I can just get them if I want to. And the only rule for NBC is that I have to kill them once. So my mission would be completely done. Um, they, if I want to uh, pad out my, uh, my item, Positions that do drop a blue wizard hat, which is something. Uh, they drop a tender box, so if I find any logs, um, I could light them on fire, but again, I don't have an axe, so I can chop down a tree if they don't drop an axe. And they also drop a chef's hat, so I could be falling out of control with that. Um, apart from that, my plan for killing the guard is I'm going to go get level 10 in attack, strength, and defense here. I mean, whatever hit points level that would give me. And then I'm going to go for the guard. So, um, 
I'll pop in every time I get a level, but other than that, I think that the only thing left to do in this chunk is the guard, so... Well, on to the train montage. That's starting to love this thing. Alright, I'm done with the uh, training now, and um, you can see over here I got level 10 in all my stats, as, uh, as I promised I would. So uh, one thing I need to bring up while I was doing the training, I was looking back at some of the clips I had recorded, noticed the, um, the game audio was kind of overpowering my voice. I think I've got that fixed now. I might not. Um, as I said earlier on, and I don't know if you could hear me when I said it, um, I'm new to the YouTube thing, so problems are bound to arise. So, um, first thing before we go kill the guard is I want to kill a cow and cook its meat. And that will be, uh, to complete the, uh, cooking portion of the chunk here. So, as you can see by my performance now, uh, versus earlier on in the video when I did this the first time, I am much better off with these, uh, level 10 all the way through stats. I know they're not that high. It took me about two hours to do it by just punching chickens out front of the house, as you saw during the montage. Um, which was obviously not really that much fun. But um, I did it, and and here we are. So hopefully this raw beef can get cooked up real quick, and we will be done with cooking. There we go. All right. So, now comes the, uh, the finale of this chunk. We have to go beat up a guard. So that is exactly what we will go do. I guess I might as well use my run energy instead of walking everywhere. Oh, got both of the highwaymen chilling out. Are they aggressive on me? No, they're not. We managed to, uh, to outlevel them. So we're combat level 13 here. And, and there's someone with a random event. So, all right, there's our there's a friend right there. Let's beat him up. Battle of the Ages right here. He has armor and weapons, and I have neither of those things. I have a pretty pimpin' looking cape though, so can't complain too much. Hopefully, all my food will manage to uh, get me to kill him, and we won't have to go train anymore. He's hitting pretty good on me. I'll give him that. 
So obviously if this uh, if this doesn't work I'll I'll go train strength up to like 20 or something. I'm not gonna do attack or defense um, right now. Um, this would be much easier with a weapon, which uh, is the way people usually play this game. But I guess weapons are uh, weapons are too good for me at the moment since there are none in my chunk, at least that I know of. If there are, and uh, someone finds one, well, I'm gonna feel awful silly because it's uh it's good to have uh yeah, I'm gonna try and kill things. <laughs> you know, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Yeah, this dude is uh this guard here is a bit too powerful. I actually have to, after I presumably fail this fight, I'm going to go look up on the wiki what their stats are to see really what I should have to beat one. Yeah, they're regening. It's regening health faster than I can kill it. So, well, that's awful disappointing. I'm um, going to be going back to the training then. Um, I'll see if I can... Uh, actually, I don't know. I don't know what I was about to say. I'll probably just uh, record the levels like I did there in the montage towards the end and not talk over and just do a short clip of each one I get. But I am going to run myself out of food before I get this up. So combat level 21 not doable as a 13. So, well, I'm going to retreat now. That is not a successful adventure there. So, I'm um, going to go back to training. I'll, uh, I'll include a little, another little montage of uh, training clips and um, meet back at the end of that. Alright, I just looked up on the, uh, the wiki while I was training here on some chickens. Um, I haven't got any levels yet. I actually did this right after the last clip. Not that that matters to any of you. But I looked up the guards' combat stats. They have 22 hit points, 19 attack, 18 strength, and 14 defense. So, I don't know what that means for me. Um, I think what it means for me is I'm going to go get 20 strength before I try that again. Um, <laughs> that doesn't work. 20 in all of them, maybe leave the defense at 10 don't want to put any more time into this than I have to, but, um, well, I mean, I can't complain too much. I've just played, like, two or three hours on this account today. Um, that's nothing compared to some of you, most likely, that, um, play a whole lot more. And to be fair, on my main account, I've played a whole lot more as well, so I can't complain too much either. Um, another thing you probably noticed, I'm, I've, uh, stopped picking up drops, um, figure we'll just get prey levels later, and I don't know what I'm going to use the feathers for, so I got, you know, a little under a thousand of them, gosh, plenty for anything I'm going to be doing in the short term, if I need more in the future, I'll just come back and get them. So anyways, um, now we will get to the training montage. I'm back uh, from doing all the uh, training, and uh, well, these are the stats I managed to get: 10 in attack, defense, 20 in strength, and managed to get 17 hit points. 
I'm hoping this will be able to uh, take out the guard this time instead of the failure that was last time. As you can see, I'm combat level 25. They're only 21. Or, I just lied to you. It's 17.25. And they're only 21. It's fairly close, so I should be able to pull this off. Um, gotta wait for one to hop back into the trunk here. So, uh, so I might be waiting around for a second. Brought plenty of food. Um, nope. Oh yeah, he's our volunteer. Yeah, do it much better this time. He's having a hard time getting any damage on me. I say that and there it goes, but we're actually ahead in the fight. So, um, as I said in the intro thing to the, uh, the video I was having some audio issues that I discovered halfway through recording. I think those are fixed right now. Like, you should be able to hear me. Obviously, if you can't, then, um, still got a problem to solve, but... Who knows? I'll, uh, well, trying to, uh, figure out how to get everything working right is going to be a challenge that we're going to be going through probably the entire series here. Because, uh, as I said before, I've uh, never really done YouTube before. There's a bot. <laughs> now, I have to say, starting off the, uh, the Trunk account here, it's pretty interesting to be honest, being uh, restricted in, in the way that I am. I've never played a restricted account before. I've never played an Iron Man before. Um, it's all new things to me. This is still going to be a tough little fight, isn't it? I mean, I'm winning, but not by a mile. I looked up their drop tables, by the way. They do drop daggers, which, if I can manage to get my hands on one, would be great. That would give me an actual weapon and make things like this easier to do in the future. So who would have guessed the uh, big challenge for the account at the moment? Is killing a level 21 guard. There's our there's our bot boy cutting. Yep, oaks. That's pretty good free to play money maker, by the way. If you're watching this video and you're in free to play, trying to figure out how to make some money, I think it's like 200 some k an hour, or at least it used to be. I would assume it's still somewhat okay since we got uh, some bot owner there running it on his uh, account. I presume he's put himself off here to try and get less attention. Oh, and there goes our guard. Alright, what do we get? 30 coins and some bones. So that's the first uh, money on the account, which is nice. And um, well, apart from that, the... Uh, chunk is now done. I'll see you over on the website that allows you to decide what your next chunk is going to be. So I'm going to pop over there. Um, and yeah, I'll see you there. So here we are on the chunk picker website. If you're interested, come check out this website yourself. The address bar is up there in the top and you can just Google OSRS uh, chunk picker. It's the first option in Google. You click on that and it'll come in here. So as I was saying earlier, this is not going to be just a trunk based account, but also region based. So you can see the four numbers up on the screen right now. Each of those is going to unlock a separate region. One is going to unlock the Remington region, which is going to be these four right here. Two will unlock Port Sarah region, which is going to be those four. Three is going to unlock Draenor's region, which is going to be this row right here, going from Draenor Manor all the way down to the Wizard's Tower. And 4 is going to unlock the Falador region, which is just going to be that one and that one there. I know there's a little bit of Falador in this one, but we'll get to that later. And also a little sliver in those two, but um, I guess this one would technically be part of it because uh, most of this chunk is in the pay-to-play region. This little sliver is in the free-to-play world. We'll consider that part of the Falador region, to be honest. So um, the region lock is, so for example, if I unlock one here, it's going to mean I have to complete the whole Remington region before I can move outside of, like, go unlock a chunk in a different region. So I'll have to do these four chunks here, 
and then I'd be allowed to try again for Serum Draenor or Falador. So enough talking aside, let's, um, let's pick a chunk. And I guess Nostradamus in the house here. The chunk is going to be the Remington region. So since I can get into this uh, bottom bit of Falador, I'm going to count that as a uh, part of well, I'm going to go in there. That will be part of the completion of this chunk. So, um, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I know there were some issues throughout it with me learning how this YouTube thing works. Episode 2, I hope it's going to be a major leap forward and be a whole lot better. And I hope to keep up that level of uh, quality progression throughout the series. Episode 3, 4, is just every episode is going to be better than the last, I hope. So again, thank you for watching, and I hope you uh, come in and uh, watch episode 2 when I put that out. Have a great day.